We all have some kind of smartphone in our pocket. They're sleek, dainty, and borderline cute. But the same cannot be said for some bits of tech. Some are absolute monstrosities. Towering and bulky feats of engineering that would not look out of place in a Transformers movie. These are the most incredible monster machines of all time. Number 15. Mamoet. With a name like Mamoet, it comes as little surprise that this self-propelled modular transporter can carry mammoth loads. One of the most unusual trucks ever built, the Mamoet is made up of several units joined in a variety of configurations, depending on the weight and size of the load to be transported. The Mamoet company specializes in transporting huge loads, with one example being the transportation of a 500-ton gas tank in Malaysia. The tank was transported 15 miles and considered one of the most spectacular projects the company had been involved in. The gigantic 165-foot-long load was hauled by just one driver. The trip took a whole day, reaching the local port at nightfall, where it was loaded onto a ship. But if you think this load was big, the Mamoet can carry even bigger loads, with its modular concept allowing it to expand and contract as necessary, meaning there really is no limit to what they can carry. A truly clever system with all wheels able to turn 360 degrees together or separately so the transporters can drive forwards or backwards, sideways, diagonally, and even in a circle. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. <laughs> Number 14. The Yacht Express We all know that yachts come in all shapes and sizes, with most being of the larger and luxurious variety. So imagine, if you will, a floating vessel built specifically for carrying them across the water. The Yacht Express is the largest vessel of its kind in the world, stretching the length of almost two football fields. This beast was built to stand out in a crowd and wouldn't be missed in the ocean, that's for sure. Forming part of the Dockwise Yacht Transport Fleet, this vessel is based in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and provides the world's only float-on, float-off service. The company has a fleet of 15 semi-submersible vessels and their sole purpose is to transport other heavy maritime cargoes to ports mainly between Florida and the Mediterranean. The Yacht Express itself joined the fleet in May 2007 and was seen in Australia and New Zealand waters before traveling to its base in Florida. It is 130 feet longer than any other carrier, weighs 15,000 tons, and offers a deck space of 5,115 meters. Now that's impressive. With a service speed of 18 knots, a transatlantic voyage takes between 8 and 15 days, 50% faster than previously. Number 13. The NASA Crawler. Imagine being responsible for the transportation of a rocket, carrying it to its launching pad and watching it take off on its mission to space. Well, that's the job of the NASA Crawler. This behemoth machine has held the important role of transporting rockets and spacecraft to the launch pad at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida for more than 50 years, and it doesn't look like it's being replaced anytime soon. Constructed in 1965 to move the massive Saturn V rocket from Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building to Launch Complex 39, the crawler transporters measure 90 feet across, the size of a baseball infield. Powered by locomotive and large electrical power generator engines, these machines have been built to last, withstanding both time and the pressure of transporting some of the most important technology in the world. The crawler transporter can transport 18 million pounds, or the weight of more than 20 fully laden 777 airplanes, and weighs as much as 15 Statues of Liberty, 6.6 .6 million pounds. Number 12, the Nexus. For those among you that have ever wondered how cables are laid at sea, you can now wonder no longer. 
Submarine cables are very important in today's world, connecting offshore facilities, such as wind farms at sea, to the main grid. A massive task involving many man-hours, it's made simpler with the help of the Nexus. With its shorter hull, Van Ord's first cable-laying vessel is a remarkable piece of equipment, designed to operate in shallow waters. In fact, it can even breach if necessary. Equipped with a huge cable carousel with a capacity of more than 5,000 tons and an offshore crane that allows it to lay heavy and long export cables, the Nexus was deployed to an offshore wind project on its first voyage in March 2015. Boasting state-of-the-art technology and marine ingenuity, the modern vessel measures 123 meters long and is equipped with a dynamic positioning system. The multi-purpose Nexus has two main functions, scour protection and cable laying, with some vessels deployed to carry out both activities. It installs subsea rock around the foundations of the wind turbines for scour protection purposes and can be equipped with a turntable, reels, or winches when in cable laying mode. The deck layout has been future-proofed in anticipation of impending market requirements for challenging cable installation works, and there is accommodation for 90 people on board. Number 11, Bucket Wheel Excavator. Now, if you think driving an excavator all day for work would be a breeze, don't apply for a job where they use this beast. Let's face it, you would have to be pretty fit to cope with working on this machine each day. With more than 2,000 steps and about half a mile of walkway, it isn't out of the question for members of the crew to walk over six miles during a shift. Get out your Apple Watch, guys, because your daily steps are gonna go through the roof. The Bucket Wheel Excavator is a massive machine built specifically to scoop up earth and carry it away. But this monster is no average excavator, it is the Bagger 293. It weighs over 14,000 tons and is both the largest and heaviest land vehicle on the planet. It has 18 buckets, each able to hold up to 6,600 liters of soil and can shift 8.475 million cubic feet of earth in a single day the equivalent of around 3 million bathtubs. Now that's a lot of dirt. At 315 feet tall and 740 feet long, this excavator creates a scene wherever it goes. And when it comes to fuel economy, let's just say it won't challenge a Prius anytime soon. Number 10, Bagger 288 Excavator. If you think of an ocean liner, the Titanic might spring to mind. Weighing 46,328 tons, the ocean liner that sunk on its maiden voyage is only slightly larger than this excavator, the Bagger 288. At 705 feet long, 311 feet tall, and weighing 45,500 tons, this machine is a beast. It can move a whopping 8.48 million cubic feet of material a day, enough to fill a 98 foot deep football field sized hole. So it's easy to see why it took 10 years to build this multi-million dollar monster. Specifically built for stripping enormous open pit coal mines in Germany, the 288 has an enormous 70 foot wheel containing 20 buckets, each scooping up to 12 tons of material a second, the equivalent of 10 mid-sized cars. The colossal machine can also output enough material a day to fill 98 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Now that's a lot of material, and I should know, look at how much material we pump out on this channel. Sitting on 12 enormous crawlers and measuring 49 feet long and 12 feet wide, it comes as no surprise that this thing is difficult to transport. In fact, because of its tremendous weight, it can destroy roads, crushing cement, and anything else in its path but it's cheaper to rebuild the roads after the giant has passed through than to disassemble the 288 and reassemble it at another mine. Go figure. Number 9, Sherp ATV. An impressive off-road vehicle that can tackle almost anything, the Russian Sherp is pretty much human. 
Not only can it swim, it can also climb over obstacles over 27 inches high. The Sherp All-Terrain Vehicle is also amphibious and can move from land to water with ease. In fact, as Credence Clearwater Revival famously put it in their hit Proud Mary, the Sherp ATV's big wheels keep on turning, no matter what the conditions or the terrain. When you first set your eyes on the vehicle, it doesn't look real. With its compact body and huge wheels, it looks like something out of a cartoon or video game rather than a roadworthy vehicle. With no terrain off limits, this Russian vehicle is indeed real and is a hell of a way to drive over anything short of a sheer cliff, unless you have a parachute attached, perhaps. The Sherp was developed by technologist Alexei Garagashian and his team of like-minded souls, who were keen on creating a vehicle with super supreme terrain navigation capabilities. With massive tires standing 160 centimeters tall and a ground clearance of nearly two feet, the Sherp underbody glides over terrain that hasn't even been cleared. From brush fields into swamps, over dreadfall strewn forest floors, and up and over talus fields, you name it, this tough terrain master can conquer it, taking man where no man has gone before. Sounds a little bit like walking on the moon, doesn't it? Number 8. The Seawise Giant Built in a shipyard in Kanagawa, Japan from 1979 to 1981, the Seawise Giant was the largest oil tanker ever built. With a 50-ton propeller, 230-ton rudder, and weighing a whopping 564,000 tons in total, what surprises me is that this thing could even stay afloat. Originally ordered by a Greek shipping magnate who refused to take delivery of the vessel upon completion, the tanker was sold to an overseas container line in Hong Kong for the purpose of transporting oil across the ocean. Twice the size of the Titanic, the ship was purposely sunk in 19. 1988 and then resurrected just a year later. Why, you may ask? Well, because she couldn't navigate the English Channel and took five miles to slow to a halt, rendering her next to useless. Heaved from the seabed in 1989, the ship was repaired and onsold a further six times before being broken down for scrap at an Indian scrapyard in 2010, a process that took thousands of laborers thousands of hours. This massive hulk cost millions, changed hands, and was renamed six times and was only in service for 30 years. Seems like it was a bit of a lemon to me, but hey, what would I know? Number 7. Burlak. Sand, ice, snow, or water, this six-wheeled amphibious vehicle can handle it all. No job is too tough for the Burlak. With all the units and assemblies accessed from inside the cabin, harsh polar conditions can't stop this all-terrain vehicle from getting the job done. Its waterproof body design and propeller also allow the Burlak to float and maneuver among the ice cracks and make controlling the vehicle no more difficult than a typical on-road passenger vehicle. Simply belt up and settle in for a ride to the North Pole if you so wish. With a front-mounted turbo diesel engine, automatic gearbox, and independent double wishbone spring suspension that ensures road clearance from 720 to 750 millimeters, the Burlak not only travels like a dream, passengers can be assured of a quicker and safer journey across any terrain. The body is lined with aluminum sheet 1 to 2 millimeters thick, and it weighs 7 tons. But with a cabin designed for 10 people, a kitchen, wash basin, and a shower, this vehicle's no shrinking violet. It is big and built tough to withstand any conditions thrown at it. And for those with a penchant for fresh water, the Burlak has a snow melting device on board which allows passengers to obtain up to 30 liters of drinking water. Now isn't that fancy? Number 6. Shaman 8-Wheeler this impressive Russian-made eight-wheeler is the biggest SUV to ever hit the market. The Avtoros is huge, measuring 6.3 meters in length and 2.5 meters across. The size of two Range Rover SUVs, this thing is a monster, and it chews through gas like one, too. 
consuming about 25 liters of diesel fuel every 100 kilometers. The Shaman has a 3-liter, 6-cylinder Iveco turbo diesel engine and the capacity to switch between on-road, off-road, and crab mode, which turns all eight wheels to move sideways. The driver sits in the center, just like the McLaren F1, but that's where the similarities end. This is no sleek race car. It was built for harsher environments than those dished out on the track. The Russian-born shaman can deal with almost anything, including snow, swamps, steep terrains, and deep waters. Yeah, this eight-wheeled beast is also amphibious, allowing it to tackle any terrain known to man, from land to water and back again. Equipped with low-pressure tires, this ATV makes off-roading more comfortable than ever. But with a starting price of $200,000, they're hardly flying out the door. In fact, the Shaman is yet to hit the American market. Number 5. Big Dog 4x4 This is one awesome-looking truck, guaranteed to make heads turn wherever it goes. <laughs> And for all the right reasons. I mean, for one, it's a first responder. The Big Dog 4x4 is a versatile firefighting apparatus and forms part of a first response team along with brush trucks, crash trucks, and pumpers. The custom outfitted off-road vehicle has been designed and engineered to enable firefighters to go where they need to go with little hassle, plenty of grunt, and a host of handy features. No stone has been left unturned in this monster truck's design. Ground sweeps, bumper-mounted monitors and sprayers, skid plates and rear stowaway bumpers make this truck a very useful tool for the firefighting community. Not your average, everyday fire truck, the Big Dog is not only the world's most capable, most durable 4x4 fire truck on the planet, it's also the most sought after on today's market. No surprises there. This multi-purpose fire truck means business. Boasting 25 inches of ground clearance and locking differentials, it also has a roll cage. Perfect for fighting off-road fires, the almost indestructible Big Dog can tackle brush fires and motor vehicle accidents all in the same day. What a legend. Number 4. Ripsaw EV This vehicle makes light work of the often difficult desert terrain, driving at high speeds and navigating the sand-covered earth like a pro. The Ripsaw Extreme Vehicle Super Tank is one of the most sought-after high-performance luxury vehicles in the world, but it doesn't look it. This thing isn't flashy by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it's no Ferrari or Lamborghini, that's for sure. But what it does have is adaptability. This vehicle takes to the desert like a duck to water, riding the sand dunes like a boat rides the waves in the ocean. Originally built for the U.S. Army as a lightweight, go-fast super tank, the Ripsaw is the fastest dual-track vehicle ever built. Thousands of man-hours went into both its design and creation, with the result a beautiful and rugged vehicle ideal for the high-end luxury car market and extreme off-road enthusiast. An unusual combination that works, these unique off-road vehicles take up to six months to fabricate and will set their new owner back over half a million dollars, depending on their specification requirements. Easy to drive and in a league of its own when it comes to capability, speed, sheer adrenaline and luxury, the Ripsaw is a get-dirty vehicle with an industrial interior and boat-like appearance. With a cluster of race car instruments at your fingertips, get in and drive it like you stole it. Number 3. Gio Rescue this off-road vehicle, designed and built by Romanian company Gio, looks for all the world like a dune buggy, one you would see skipping across the sand dunes at the beach on a summer's afternoon. The difference is, this buggy, or ATV, is a giant in comparison. Affectionately known as the four-wheeled hero, the rescue is described as a superman with a diesel heart. It can ford rivers in a single bound and has more ground clearance than an elephant on stilts. Can you imagine? Picture an original Hummer and Batman's Tumbler having a baby and you have the rescue. 
the ultimate machine to serve humanity in the toughest conditions. This extreme machine is designed to go almost anywhere and can be designed for fighting fires, medical support, or simply transporting passengers. It seats 11 people, can cross even the most hellish terrain, and holds nearly 200 gallons of water as well as an assortment of pumps and hoses. It can also be fitted with pneumatic pillows on each wheel to power float its way across a small lake if required, and tank-style tracks allow it to adapt to snow as well. I like how with something like this, floating is power floating. Powered by a 6-liter Chevy V8, the Rescue tips the scales at 3,200 kilograms. Heavy duty and durable, this vehicle is massive, easily dwarfing your average passenger van. If you're in the market for something fun yet practical and have between 79,000 and 119,000 pounds at your disposal, then add this to your list. Number 2. The BVS-10 This machine looks for all the world like an army tank and consists of two sections linked by a steering mechanism with tracks instead of tires. The Viking BVS-10 Beowulf is an all-terrain tracked vehicle that was unveiled for the first time during a defense exhibition in September 2015. A potential replacement for its predecessor, the BY-206, it was promoted to the British Royal Marines as being suitable for a wide range of combat missions. It combined the best of BV-206, BV-206S, and BVS-10 and offered excellent strategic and tactical mobility for worldwide operations. Fully amphibious, the BVS-10 was fitted with a more powerful engine than the BY-206, was larger and faster, and had a greater load capacity. It could operate in temperatures from negative 46 degrees Celsius to 46 degrees Celsius, and could work in the jungle, desert, and arctic conditions, and for rapid deployment. There were also several variants of the Viking trialed by the British Army in Afghanistan, including an ambulance, troop carrier, command vehicle, and logistic carrier. A solid unit, these vehicles weigh 10 tons fully laden, offer great mobility, and are expected to still be in service beyond 2031. Number 1. Wheel Loader the Letourneau L2350 is a monster loader more than 20 feet high. The rubber-wheeled front loader can lift the equivalent of 30 cars over its head with ease. Even its tires are huge, weighing 7 tons apiece. The world's biggest, most powerful, and productive front-end loader in its class, the Letourneau L2350 has an operating capacity of 72,574 kilograms and can center load haulage trucks with payload ratings of up to and over 400 tons. This massive machine has a standard bucket of 40.52 cubic meters and a 2300 horsepower engine. For those concerned about excessive fuel consumption or the effect of emissions on the environment, this beast has SR hybrid drive technology. It also comes in three lift arm configurations, standard, high, and super high. The first rubber-tired front-loader by Le Tourneau was manufactured in 1946, but today's version bears little to no resemblance to its much smaller ancestor. The L2350 is a behemoth in comparison. Launched to the world at the 2000 World Mine Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada, it made the Guinness World Record book as the world's largest earth mover, a record that still stands today. When you think monster truck, images of normal-sized trucks with oversized tires come to mind. But talk monster machines, and things start to get a little hazy. What do they look like? How big are they? What are they used for? Unless you work on them or with them every day, monster machines aren't something you have a lot to do with, so this list makes for an interesting read. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!